Okay everyone, today we're going to be exploring how to use the Polar Grid tool to create uh, interesting mandala-like effects with, with our insect drawings that we have already uh, created. Here are some of the examples of ones I have made whilst playing with the Polar Grid tool. And you can see we can create some quite intricate patterns and even though the setup is relatively simple, um, you do need to follow the steps carefully, otherwise uh, you might come a cropper. So what I'd like you to do is to create a new document and then paste some of your insects. Make sure that they're one shape, the insects that you paste in, so they're not multiple shapes, just one. And then what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be using this tool here, the Polar Grid tool. Now, you might not be able to see it straight away. It's tucked underneath the Line Segment tool. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is double click on the on the Polar Grid tool there. And what we want to do first of all is just put these numbers in. So we want 500 point for the, for the width height. It doesn't matter if you're in centimeters or pixels or whatever, but you want the you want them to be the same because that means that we will have we'll have a circle. We want five concentric uh, dividers and we want ten radial drivers, uh, dividers. Sorry, drivers, dividers. And once you've got that, click OK, and then drag your grid out. Hold the Shift button down to constrain it, and what you'll end up with is something like this. So this is a this is a polar grid, and at the moment it's just a grid. Um, and what we want is we want it to have a um, a stroke. We don't necessarily need to have the fill, but we want it to have a stroke. And in your Pathfinder tool, um, I, you want to divide it, okay? Because what we're going to do, we're going to take one of these sections, and we're going to turn it into a symbol. But what we need to do first of all is to rotate this now so that we have our central pie segment in in the middle. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to object. Or well, actually, sorry, we need to select it. We go to object, transform, rotate, and uh, basically we want because we've got ten segments, we want to do this okay so the maths is quite easy actually so you do 360 divided by 20 and we can preview it and you can see now that pie slice is in the right place and we just click OK so we want it in that position so we've clicked OK the pie slice is in the right place and the next thing that we need to do is go to uh, object and group or you can just ungroup in the quick actions there click off it and then what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything that isn't that pie slice and you'll see the top of the pie slice will disappear but that's okay don't need to worry about that as long as we have have just this pie slice so now we have this pie slice it's a bit convoluted, I know. We select it all, and we would want to have the Symbols panel open. Um, you can find the Symbols panel in the Window menu, but you should have it there anyway. So you select it, and what we're going to do is drag the whole thing in to the Symbols palette. And we get this Symbol Options box open. We want to change the export type to Graphic, and we want to give a name for it, so it looks like a pizza slice to me, so I'm going to call mine pizza. And we click OK. Right, so we, we've got that. That looks quite cool. So this is a symbol now, and um, what we want to do next now is we want to put all the other slices of the pizza in into position. So the way that we're going to do that, we're going to rotate. So we press the R key on our keyboard, and I don't know if you can see, but the, the, the center of the object has turned blue. And we just click and drag that to the bottom. Okay. Um, now, it's probably quite important that you get in quite close to see this. Because if, if it's not in the right place, 
uh, you won't be able to you won't be able to move it so I'm just gonna move this I don't want to take it down to the bottom I want it to be sort of in the middle probably about there and then I'm gonna hold the option key down and you see like there's those few lines the little dots just click again and then you can see that the, the rotation is taking place now that's wrong we don't want that so we want it to rotate we want to double it okay so i'm going to change it to 36 i'm going to preview and you can see that it's okay so we can we can copy that that looks all right so I'm going to zoom out and then we're going to do command d to repeat so command d on your keyboard will repeat that last action and we have that so that's the tricky bit done okay so you might have to go through this tutorial a few times uh, to get it or pause it as you go along and what we're going to do now is we're going to put these insects into this pizza slice and I'll, I'll show you the magic now so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select all our insects um, we're going to make them a bit smaller because we want them to fit in the slice. So that should should just about do it. And then I want to do Command C to copy it. And then we're going to go to the slice and we're going to double click on the line. I'm going to try and double click on the line. And then you get this dialog box up saying that you're going to edit the symbol definition. Do you want to do it? You click OK. And then what we're gonna do is just paste. I'm gonna paste my insects into this now. You can see we're in isolation mode. You've got that green line above and there's a little arrow and it says pizza. Um, so we've got we've got our little bugs. I'm just gonna make them a little bit smaller. We'll drop them in. And if you wanna see what this looks like, all we do is click this button here. And you can see, right, we've got everything in place. So we can edit this now and we can add more things in. And the way we do that is double clicking on this central thing. And it, that dialog box comes up saying you want to edit the symbol definition. Click OK. If you don't want to see it again, just hit Don't Show Again. Um, and we can, we can decide, OK, I want to make this one larger. And let's go a little bit closer. Maybe I want to make a copy of this one drag it across and maybe I want to rotate it so that it lines up with the edge like that maybe maybe drop it a little bit um, and there's, there's lots of ways that we can do this but this is the way that I want us to do today it's going to be much simpler so I want to want this bug to go on this side as well so I'm going to go to object transform reflect and we've got it set up vertically and you can see the preview is on so i'm going to hit copy and i put a copy of that bug i'm going to drag it across across and then hold the shift button down to make sure it's in the same position and there you go i feel like this thing needs to come a little bit over um maybe i want to turn this bug around and have him sort of touching the toes um, and this one I'm going to take right the way in and maybe I'm going to drag another copy of it to put put up here as well or maybe make it a little bit smaller maybe I can put it in this space here um, and then I'm going to do an object transform reflect copy and drag this one over and put it in this space so basically what we're doing is we're we're decorating this pizza slice. We're putting um, objects on here that's, um, which happen to be our insects. And this is why I was stressing to you earlier in the week that I wanted you to have more insects than you already have because it'll just uh, make for a more interesting slice of pizza, I suppose. So um, I'm just again going to do object, transform, reflect, copy, drag this one, holding the shift button down, and I, we can go on and on, but I'm just going to 
turn it that way. So you can see we've, we've got quite an interesting mandala shape happening already. So I suppose you're wondering, what about we've got these black lines there, do we need those black lines? And we don't. So again, we double click on our, on our bug, we click OK, and we can select, whoops, we can select elements from, from whoops, let me just do that again. Um, I just want to sort of delete, we can delete these shapes in the background. And then if we go back, you can see that we've got, got rid of them. Well, we've still got the shapes in the middle there, so let's double click that. Okay, let's get this bad boy, delete. And we go back, and there you have it. So we've got, got a very sort of simple, interesting mandala pattern happening there. So this is what I want you to experiment with today. Um, follow the steps uh, follow the, the the math that i've put in when you when you look at your polar grid um, and i want to see some inventive use of this you know you can um, rotate bugs um, for example maybe i want this bug to be going in that direction let me move them down a little bit um, and you you get lots of different variations like that. So the more variations you have, the better. But ideally, I want to see lots of different mandalas.